Ah non, he was as flexible as a riot baton. Yet his heart was as warm as a freshly extracted urine sample. May I see Inspector Rosso? I'm sorry, but he gave me orders not to disturb him, monsieur. Thanks for your help, officer. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. While I was in Syria, I discovered a strange pagan statue. It was like a head with three bearded faces. Horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor Knights of Christ had an idol that looked like that? Allegedly, yes. Yeah. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. Mind you, not one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? At the Institut Hermétique de Naval. The statue is beneath the foundations. It was discovered by some workmen while renovating the building. Can you tell me any more about the statue of Baphomet? It's a fearful image, even now, a bearded head. The base of the statue is carved with Templar symbols. One of the workmen noticed a curious stain at the base. He claimed it looked like blood. Blood? That's right. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Excuse me, could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. What does the word Templar suggest to you? Templar? Mm, nothing. Nothing. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't think I've ever seen a Galois smoked so stylishly. It's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. Merci. Vive l'indifférence. So, what are you doing here? I am having my break. Yeah, I mean, when you finish your break. Oh, when I finish my break? An interesting concept, monsieur. You'll probably need to think about it. I could have another cigarette while I consider. Perhaps tomorrow too? Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of debris, and to touch up damage to the door frames with my little pot of paint. It's a very responsible job. Unfortunately, I'm not a very responsible person. So what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but they uh, laugh. You couldn't be bothered to join. Right. Tell you what, though. I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? 
<laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist looks like? Sleepy suits, crocodile-eyed attaché cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. So, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? Have you seen this man before? Yes, he asked me a lot of questions, just like you. Be seeing you. Au revoir, monsieur. Hi. Uh, excuse me? Oui. What do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Then he said, Nothing. Nothing at all? Is this a test? What, like a history pop test? No, like a test. Okay, yes, it's a test. Then I know absolutely nothing about the Templars. The guard was being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than goodwill to get past him. So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? Take it easy. I just didn't realize you were a guard. I'd like to know what you're guarding, please. That's a secret. It wouldn't happen to be an archaeological site, would it? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why ask? I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. Have you seen this man before? Oh, <gasps> You have? Uh, no. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. That door's locked, monsieur. Hi again. What is it? Trying to get into a locked washroom. I had the strongest feeling of deja vu. I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I didn't want to use that unless I really had to. A filthy wash basin hung on the wall. It was the bar of soap I'd stolen from the washroom of the excavation site. I made an impression of the big key and the cake of soap. I carefully sprinkled the plaster into the soap mold I'd made of the key. The cold taps washer looked to have failed. It was just dribbling down the sink. The cold taps washer looked to have failed. It was just dribbling down the sink. Well, it had taken a while, but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. Hey, 
Monsieur, 